I don't know if you knew, but the founder of this brand, this Calorie Queen brand, is actually the original founder, one of the original founders for Urban Decay, Wendy Zomnier. And when she left, she actually created this line with Jenna Dover. They launched this in Newport Beach, California. It is all about, you know, kind of the like relaxed beachy lifestyle, clean ingredients, clean living, and the bottles are from made from recyclable plastic. They are recyclable. You can send them back. They have a partnership that you can do with them. I was excited. I was able to try this free dreaming skin wellness tint. This was gifted to me. There was no YouTube requirements, but I wanted to share it with you guys. By the way, if you are new here, hello, my name is Stacy. I'm in my mid forties. And on this channel, we are all about trying to make the aging process as easy as possible. You know, we have so many choices, so hopefully I can help you kind of cut through some of the clutter and figure out what will work for you. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming on back. I greatly appreciate it. Here is what the bottle looks like. This is a one ounce, retails for $40. You do want to shake this, make sure you shake it well. It's made in Italy and I do like the colors. So you can hear that in there that you need to shake it. This is described as a clean, lightweight, and buildable skin wellness liquid sheer foundation. It's supposed to blur, hydrate, and reduce redness. There's a total of 15 shades. The shade that I have is three. It is described as light with neutral undertones. So I always put foundation on the back of my hand and then tap it on to my skin. And I'll just put it over here. So it does appear that a little is gonna go a long way. And the last time I tried it with my hands, blending it in, I should have taken a picture. I did like that. Let's try it first with a beauty blender. Well, this is an e.l.f. beauty sponge. Let's see what that does. This does have prickly pear extract, which is supposed to deliver the hydration and reduce redness with and keeping it lightweight. Natural silica, and that provides the blurring effect. And there is also glycerin, which helps it glide easily and keeps it smooth on the skin. We use a foundation brush. Could need a little bit more. So it seems with the brush you get a little bit more coverage if you're looking for that instead of tapping it on my face and then blending it in if you just go in with the brush like that with the product then this is the brush side or this is the beauty sponge side let's see what it is if we try to build this side i'm not getting any scent so here is two layers of the beauty sponge and the brush. I think I need a little bit more on my chin, so I'm just going to tap it in with my fingers to show you how that looks. I think any way of applying it is going to work. In my opinion, so far it does not seem like one way one way is better than the other. It seem to be buildable without it getting cakey. Again, this is called Free Dreaming Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. It is a clean foundation. It's available on their website or at Sephora. And I wanted to do the check-in. I've had this on for about five hours. You know, the blush, you know, did kind of pick some of that up. So just, I would definitely make sure it's dried down. Not that it felt wet, but just make sure before you apply any blush over it, or you may wanna do that technique where you put it on a little bit heavier underneath and then put on the foundation serum or the tinted. It's worn off a little bit on my chin. That's usually where it wears off. Other than that, I don't really think that's worn off too much. I do need to exfoliate, but it has, 
it settled a little bit into my lines. I think overall this is going to be a great option for the summer and probably how I will continue to put it on and what I'm liking the best is with the beauty sponge. Let me know if you have heard of this brand, if you've tried this and thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Urban Decay, you can click on this video right here and that I went into a deep dive all about the brand. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.